Here's another comparison operator. This one is called not equals. Very simple to understand. Uh, it is written as, first of all, the exclamation mark symbol and then the equal symbol, both stuck together, no spaces in between. And what it will do, obviously, is it will test to see if both of these um, values, whatever they are, whether it's a number or a variable or something, um, it will test to see if they are not equal. If they are actually not equal, then the test succeeds, and we do this stuff over here. Um, if the test fails, which means they are equal, and they are not not equal, so then the else statement will be executed. And at this point, since they are both 76, which means they are equal, so this evaluation will give us false, and so the else statement will be executed. And at this point, of course, our text uh, will be in reverse order, because before we were testing if they are equal, now we're testing if they're not equal, so of course the order is reversed about what is equal and what isn't. Then we have the more or equals, which means not just like the plain uh, more than operator, but this is more and equals. This is really just a convenience operator, which helps us in situations uh, like if I have a integer, for example, which which uh, which may be zero and let's say I want to evaluate over here whether H uh, is not less than zero so one way to do that is to test if uh, H is more than uh, negative one and that will help me make sure that h is more than negative 1, which has to be at least 0. So this protects me to make sure my h is more than 0. I'm sorry, more than negative 1, so it's at least 0. But this is kind of a little weird to test if something is just above minus 1. So that's why we have this convenience uh, operator, which helps us uh, adjust our numbers so that it makes a little more sense. So we want to test if h is more or equals to 0. That makes a little more sense than the previous combination. And the difference is, of course, uh, very big, because with the more or equals, right away we're going to get true, because it's true that h is not more than 0, but it is equals. So this will evaluate as true. However, if we just leave it as the more than operator, h, I'm sorry to say, is not more than zero. So this will evaluate as false. So make sure you understand well the difference between the more than operator and the more than or equals. And finally we have the less than or equals, which helps us in situations like if we want to make sure that someone's age is at least uh, less than a hundred or at least equals to a hundred but not more than a hundred. The best way to understand these operators is to sit down and test it out for yourself. Try out all of our operators that we just learned. The equals, the not equals, more than, less than, uh, more than or equals, and less than or equals. And these will be some of the more common expressions which you will be putting into the parentheses of an if statement. You can, of course, use other types of expressions. Maybe you have already prepared the answer or of whether something is true or not from before. Maybe you already have a Boolean waiting uh, ready with the answer. And all you have to do is just put that answer inside and you will be all set to go. So if H is actually true he will succeed, and if h is false, he will fail. Uh, if for some weird reason you want to force an if statement to always be true, you can do just something like if true, and for false, you would do if false. And you can also use that n number values, 
anything that is zero will be f uh, anything that is uh, other than zero will be true, uh, even negative negative numbers, and zero will always be false. Using all the stuff we just learned, let's try to make a real uh, guessing game. So let's have our number. Let's leave it at 76 is a good number, and then let us uh, make a variable which we will use later on to store what the player's guess is. And now let's start the game. Let's play guess my number. Okay. Then let's print type in a number from 0 to 100. Now let's try to use some magic um, which will allow us to make the user type in something and we will use that as our uh, player's guess. So this is the magic that we are going to use. CIN two closing triangular brackets called the extraction operator and then our variable which will hold the player's guess. What this magic does is it waits for the user to type in a number and it will put that number into the variable player's guess. However, this causes a, causes a little bit of a problem with uh, this thing over here. So we're going to replace this little thing over here with two lines. Char F and then CIN two four, uh, closing triangular brackets F. This should keep the window from closing uh, right away when he's done with the game and should wait for you to type, to type something in and then f close the program. Again, this is because we are starting to use CIN with the two uh, closing triangular brackets. That's why we can't use what we were using until now for reasons we'll explain some other time. Now that we have the player's guess number, let's test if he got it right. If player's guess is equals to the number then let's print out u1 otherwise now here's something neat you can put if statements inside of if statements and else statements so let's test over here if player's guess um, is more than the number then let's print to him that he went too high so our real number is lower then else if player's guess is less than the number then we'll print out that he was too low and he should go higher. And that's it for now. Then the program will finish and wait for something else to be pressed and then we're done. Let's see it in action. Compiling. And here we go. Let's play guess my number. Type in a number from 0 to 100. So I will type in 50. And what do I get? Higher, that was too low. Because what happened over here is that, first of all, player's guess was not the number. And then, it wasn't higher than the number, but it was lower than the actual number. So I got the message higher. And now it's waiting for me to type something in so that it finishes. Let's do that. Let's play it again now with 90 and now I get the lower message finally let's do the right number 76 and it says you won because I got the right number by the way make sure you type in a number at this point in the program because if you type in anything else than a number you will confuse the program and it's just gonna stop because it was expecting a number not any other symbol or letter